All right, welcome to day four. Oh my goodness. We just took off from Galveston, Texas. We are gonna go to Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. See how far we make it today. And we're gonna go from there. Really fun time in Galveston. Had dinner at a place called The Spot, and that's it right there. Pretty cool place for uh, place for burgers. I actually didn't have a burger. I had a tuna tacos. So they had uh, some really good ahi tuna there. Just amazing. Really good time. Really a lot of fun. We didn't have a chance to see the amusement park on the Galveston Pier. Hey, it's Darlin. Flight of two Cubs is leaving your Delta. All right, November 5, 6, uh, X-ray Charlie, flight of two, frequency change approved. Y'all have a great flight. The controller, really super awesome at Galveston. You up? I'm up, brother, and I'm recording video, so go ahead and say hello. Good morning, good morning from Galveston. Corey and I are now headed east and maybe a little big easy, New Orleans, and uh, maybe even some Biloxi, Mississippi, with a stop at some cool island that Mike Sasser mentioned that we should uh, hang out on. So hello and good morning from uh, Galveston. Oh yeah, so there you go. Welcome to the vlog. Day four, still making our way to the Bahamas. I'm Corey Robin. Ride along with me and the Flying Cowboys as we take you flying into the back country where there's no runway required. All right, we just took off from Galveston, Texas. We are just flying down the, the Galveston Island coast, coming up on the hotel we stayed in, about 500 feet away from the shoreline, and Dooley's a little bit higher and a little bit closer, but still legit. Beautiful, beautiful day. A little windy. There's the resort we stayed at called uh, San Marcos, right there. Beautiful spot. Unbelievably nice, I loved it. So yeah. on this little beach. And how awesome is this? Oh man, I just want to get out my swimsuit and play. <laughs> this is awesome. It's a, it's a rocky slash sandy beach. Just loving every minute of it. Where are we? We're like uh, 30 miles northeast of Galveston. We are, but we're in freaking God's land of Texas. That's right. We are in awesome land. So yeah, our short fields were about I don't know 20 feet or so. Yeah, our short our landings were super short. I uh, I probably could have could have gotten stopped with zero roll. Really? Oh yeah. All right, here we are flying across the bayou. 
We are in Louisiana. Just loving every minute of this friggin' trip, dude. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Just gonna make a fuel stop really quick here at La Meyer Memorial in Genaret, Louisiana. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. It's all this French, it's all French to me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just uh, enjoying the turbulence. It's quite bumpy. The wind coming off the Gulf is uh, stirring up stuff. And then you get above the land here and there's these partly cloudy skies, which is doing some uneven heating of the Earth's surface, creating lots of thermal activity and creating turbulence for me to enjoy. Welcome to Louisiana. Yeah, Dooley, how often do you uh, buy gas with a frog on the pump? <laughs> Not very often. <laughs> Only in Louisiana, I guess. All right, how's it going, folks? My goodness, this is awesome. I am flying over the Louisiana Bayou, and it is not disappointing. It is just amazing that the people are, dude, there's people living on this bayou. It is just like out of the stories. I'm gonna show you, there's a cool little area right up ahead where they built a big levee. There's a dude standing in the water right there. Oh, I don't think you'll be able to see him. But let's check this out. There's some structures. There is a, uh, oh my gosh, look at this. Big old levee over here, cars. They had to raise up the road so that people could, uh, I'm gonna climb up to 500 feet. There we go, there's 500. And uh, so anyway, there's cars, there's boats, there's houses, just amazing. Louisiana Bayou, people, this is cool. Oh yeah, welcome to the bayou. Welcome to the bayou. Oh hey guys, we're coming up on the big easy. Let me show you. Got a, uh, some kind of structure out here. We'll go take a look at it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's probably oil. Maddie gas, maybe even shrimping, I don't know. Something out here. Righty, this is the community that's just west of New Orleans. Still over the lake on the little, uh, they have a low airspace transition where you gotta stay below 600 feet where you transit uh, east to west or west to east, the area over the water here. So way back out there is downtown. New Orleans. Oh man, I'm sorry about the bumps. All right, I'm gonna put the phone away. We're gonna make our approach into Lakeside Airport. Alrighty guys, I am flying. We just departed New Orleans, Louisiana. Now we're headed all the way to Pensacola, Florida. And so we're gonna be following these little uh, channel islands all the way. There's this train track that kind of loops around the Gulf. So we're gonna follow that just cause I don't like to be over open water too long in a cub. And that's the train track. Not much out here as you can see, except for a nasty headwind of about 20 miles an hour on the surface. But I'm not climbing up because it gets way worse as you climb. So that's it. So tonight, Pensacola, Florida. Just playing it by ear. Not really having a schedule yet. Just because the weather's been such a factor and it's going to be a factor in a slow moving airplane like this. We just ran into a, a little bit, I wouldn't call it an issue, but there's this uh, airspace right along the shoreline. I did not want to fly out a couple miles over open water, low level. We've got these clouds above us at about 1,000 or 1,200 feet. And ocean out there, and you can see that this airspace goes out to sea a few miles. You can see that kind of goes out over the water line. So you know what? I just called and asked for a transition over the shoreline. They were very accommodating. Man, I just did not feel comfortable about flying over that much open water. I don't know, just call me a chicken or call me whatever you want. Call me crazy but I feel much better. We're crossed over into Mississippi now. 
just enjoying the flight over to Florida. We're going to make it all the way to Pensacola, which is only about another 100 miles. It's not far at all from where we're at. But yeah, that's how you transition the airspace. Even in a Super Cub, you can just give them a call on the radio. They were very friendly. Like I said, just gave me a quick squat code. Wanted to know what I was doing, where I was going, and asked about my buddy that's a little bit ahead of me up there. And I just called him as a flight of two, so Dooley didn't even have to get on the radio to talk to him. All right, just right there is Keesler Air Force Base. Just past that, up ahead, is Biloxi, Mississippi. <laughs> I wish I had it on camera. I had a nice, fun conversation with the tower. Said, we're looking at you. Those are the biggest tires we've ever seen on an airplane. <laughs> oh, man. All the good stuff happens when the camera's off. Darn it. But, yeah, it's beautiful. He's going to uh, let me uh, change frequency here in a minute. So I'm going to let the camera roll until that happens. Man, little that little white house, lighthouse right there. That is awesome. Look at that. Look at that old, probably a museum or something behind it. Just awesome. Biloxi, Mississippi. And up ahead, Deer Island. This is what uh, Dooley was talking about maybe landing on. That would be kind of cool. But you know what? We're running out of daylight. It's 4 o'clock. Got another hour and a half of flying. Don't want to run up into any uh, weather situations. We do have kind of some deteriorating weather conditions, so we're just going to push forward as quick as we can, get get on the ground safely in Pensacola if we can, and if not, divert somewhere where we can land. Oh, I got you in sight now. Are you going to land right there at the end? Right before the end, but yeah. Okay, as you turn around, I'm going to try and shoot you air to ground and get your landing air to ground. Well, he's booking. Doing 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Yeah, if I floated it too much. You gonna do it? Yeah, I could do it if you want. Yeah, let's keep rolling. We got a long, we still got an hour and 10 minutes. All right, for those of you that have never seen a very large oil onloading refinery slash, this is where they load it in the big tankers. And uh, this is a big facility, huge oil pumps, huge. You can see one oil tanker in the, the dock there taking on their load. Just amazing, the infrastructure out here. This is called the Pascagoula Refinery. But we're about 45 to 50 minutes, maybe an hour outside of Pensacola, depending on the headwinds. Right now getting about 15 to 20 miles an hour right on the smack dab on the nose. Wow. And there's that refinery again, still passing it after several minutes of just amazingness. That's a big refinery. Biggest I've ever seen. Okay, so we are about 10 miles offshore crossing the Mobile Bay, Mobile, Alabama. All right, Dooley and I just landed at the Ferguson Airport right outside of Pensacola, Florida. And look what we found. And seriously, look what we found. It's like a, a Chapa museum in here. Helicopter heaven, baby. Helicopter heaven. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're going to get a little bit of a tour here. This will be kind of fun. And uh, But just, just have a look.
I'm gonna show you out the window too. This is like, we landed on the grass. Beautiful grass strip here in Ferguson. Gas is very inexpensive. Way less money than everywhere else. But just amazing. The surprises continue at the Ferguson Airport just outside of Pensacola, Florida. I was talking to the owner of the FBO. She's letting me take her Hummer overnight into town to our hotel. <laughs> How cool is that? So I'm here in uh, Pensacola, Florida, and uh, this is our second day here. Uh, Dooley, poor guy, must have eaten something that uh, did not agree with him. He is not happy. Taking care of him, just went to the drugstore to get him some saltine crackers and some 7-Up. Let's go check out Pensacola. I'm here at O'Reilly's Pub. And that's lunch. Okay, we're still here in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, unfortunately, one of the things that can happen to you when you're on a trip is food poisoning. <laughs> and Dooley's got it bad. How you feeling over there, Dooley? Yeah, he's not feeling good at all, so we're staying an extra day. Hopefully by tomorrow, uh, we'll be back on the road again, so hunker down. I went and saw some sights today in Pensacola and trying to keep Dooley hydrated and get him better. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be uh, back on the road. So we'll check in with Dooley in the morning. Hopefully he's doing much better.